Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Balatro. Everyone's favorite game. We have not played the red deck in a while. It's kind of the most basic deck. Good starting hand here. Here we go. Good start. You love to get a uh, hidden one. I think I need this. Actually, let's go for both. I don't play much with half joker. Oh, okay, that's actually really good info to have, so that is enough to kill right now. Uh, we do have a lot of face cards. Leveling up straight is pretty good. I'd rather take a skip. Okay, good, so that's not enough to go over, so now we can look for... It's more optimally. Man, that's a good one to get. Can get rid of a couple twos, maybe. That's really good. I need to buy this before I buy the voucher, so I have enough for the voucher later. Joker's so good right here. Let's see what we can get out of this to maybe use it. Yeah, 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 we big brain here. Ooh, I could save it for next round too. That might be juicier. Sucks that high card is the best usage there. Let's play five cards. This does kind of screw me over. A little bit. Uh, for now, let's play this. You still get the buff for both of those. Plus zero. <laughs> Moment. <laughs> King for a five in a row here. Oh, I don't have to play that. He's terrific. Got Temperance. Do 
do this first. Let me see if we can duplicate it. is good with half joker but i think we want to pivot away from it uh, actually maybe not we'll see i don't know what i'm doing i can get some money on this though i could use some uh, of my discards Five of a kind, maybe. Plus eighteen molt. That's so good. Holographic golden joker is like insane value. I'll buy both of these. Both are pretty great. I should check for cool though for another random gesture. Should be fine. Let's see what Celestial has first. Don't necessarily need more money. I'll go for more stats. Alright, high card is pretty good now. I think this is a undiscovered. Uh, scary face is kind of mad. Take this and try to work into it. Spades or clubs. So I want to keep spades and clubs around my discard. How much damage is this going to do here? Not a crazy amount. I have to get Half Joker to work here. Otherwise it will be a little bit scary. Oh no, we're fine. I didn't get to play Eight Ball though, which was sad. Anyways, now I can sell this thing I have it added. Five of a kind now. There's so many aces. Four of a kind is also high level. Use one more reroll, see if I can get any more planets. Four fingers is so good. This one I've never taken because I don't understand it, so let's grab it. Double 
the rank of lowest card holder. Mm -hmm. All right, I got rid of the confusing card. I don't need to think about it. Yay! Actually, it was pretty good there. I don't know why that triggers first. It's a little confusing. We did beat that uh, challenge round very easily, though. And get a hermit, maybe? as well. No real reason not to upgrade that. I'm not really forcing the aces, but I do have like seven of them. Yeah, I have seven of them. I'll redeem this, we'll be making a little bit less interest, but it shouldn't matter too much. with the aces gives a little more points. Doesn't matter though, either way I get my tarot card. Devil. It's better to use that than to sell it. Generally. Like, just barely, but still. <laughs> All the kind of okay jokers. Destroying my cards. My card is so high value. What's it at now? My card is now 45 times 5. Still less than full house at level 3, though. It's too juicy to say no to, right? Now we don't like face cards anymore. I might just have to win here, which is, I guess, a good thing. Oh no, we're fine. We don't have to worry about winning. We'll put it on like a five. I don't want to play face cards anymore, which is going to be hard to get used to, but my my jokers are strong enough to where I didn't have to there. should still be better than four of a kind. Oh no, four of a kind is a little better still. So 
the wheel. So this should trigger this. Could be a royal card, in which case it would be better to just play the ace. Hermit is pog. Pair level three. One more high card to learn it. Wait, I don't have to care about playing royals. I killed my thing that made me have to care about it. This one is slightly more expensive. Gonna overroll here. Once plus one mole or something. Don't I? That'll work. Nice. Never punished for holding on to the gold card there. Yes, it's very late to take this, but that is a High Priestess.
crazy how I'm not trying into my aces, by the way. I have so many of them. These cards are weak. Watch this deal no damage. Whoops, I did not set this up correctly. This is gonna literally give nothing. Better to do like this, maybe. Even if I have to get rid of the gold card. Now we win off that. What the hell, Polychrome? Oh! Hey, that's pretty good. I will actually buy that. And I'll probably sell Zany? Or no, Golden. Because they're the same. Wait, plus 10 mole. Plus 3 chip. Yeah, I'd rather have the mole. Let's look at the damage. Level 8 full house. Pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. I remember these aren't even the highest, uh... They're not like real cards. Yep. Pretty good run. Why did he take so long to show up? What the heck? Dude was zoning out. I mean, I can relate, but... Alright, 
let's play on easy mode. Come on. Brother. Well, Rutin? Oh, come on. Oh wait, that was full house if I played it different. Whatever. <laughs> I'd be zoning out. It doesn't matter though, it's early game. Actually, you could say early game matters more. All I need is like one decent joker though, and I survive the whole first floor, and I can just save up. We got the good one. It's time to pog. enough to win. Nice. Now I can buy this card, which I've also never uh, done. Need is a five and a nine. Or more sixes and we can get something going. Is there any way to tell visually how much how upgraded they are? This is good because it upgrades all my aces, which is a good card to upgrade. So you just want to play as many things as you can. So this would be really good with like... I do just want that right away. This is also very, very good. A lot of very, very good things that I'm seeing. I could play two pair and then upgrade the aces more. What gives more? Straight will give 30 times four, which just wins. Two pair will give 20 times two, which might win, but it might not. Rather take the win here. Upgrading the, the high value cards also. They're not aces, but they are still high value. Economy. I think it 
it's worth more than wasteful. Alright, whatever, we have to play this. Basically force there. I just... Oh, I have nothing. My damage is too low, I think. How is this hand so bad? I don't have any aces left in the deck. Hiker, it's pretty satisfying watching the numbers tick. Even if it takes forever. But I don't think this deck has what it takes. I love early juggler too. It's a shame. Just desperately needed any multipliers at all. A low straight enough to win off the bat. No, it's good to know though. If I could even got like a banana last round. Asking for a full house, really asking for that much? I just don't want to play two pair. That's not, like, evil. I'm not a terrible person. <laughs> Give me full house! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh yeah. Now you give me both of the things I wanted. But it's worth jack shit because I got nothing else. Terrific. Round two sure is fun, huh? Yeah, you know screw it. I don't want these sixes. Yeah. Gimme give gimme give this draw. This is an actual draw. That's not terrible. This is a very funny start. I'm gonna try and save it here. Well, that makes it easy. This draw game, this is the kind of draw I should be getting. I think this is lethal. It doesn't look like that much. But I think it's fine. Yeah. Who needs discards? Imagine selling that for two. I gotta revoke your gaming card if you do that one. There we go. 
Do aces count as even? No. I would really like a golden gesture, please. Sprint and juggle are both pretty good. Let's look for better, though. I mean, I do kind of need economy. I could put it on a 2, because I'm not likely to use a 2. Destroying a 2 and a 3. It's not really all that useful in straights. Irony. I'll go crazy on buying jokers just so I have big damage. I mean, I won't be able to play a uh, straight, but whatever. Four of a kind. Dang, four of a kind be scaling. a normie joker, but it's still really good. Uh, I will buy this, even though I don't have that much money. <laughs> this is very interesting. I could actually just play flush off this. But do I care? Come on, Evans. Aces do not count. Okay, that's very interesting. Let's get rid of these aces then, whatever. I wanna try for something cool. There we go. Let's see how cool this is. Once we finish adding up the molts, how much is this worth? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. We have a strong deck. That's very good, because it means I can save up. I'm gonna deck this strong in a while. Uh, you know what? I haven't tried this. It's early enough. It could work out. I do have this. Let's get rid of misprint and we'll actually try it. Blueprint uh, can maybe fit in somewhere, but I want to try this out because I haven't tried it. So it gives you the disadvantage of... Um, also, straights are really good because they get me three even cards. This is pretty good normally, but I kind of just want consumables here. So now, like, three of a kind will be really good, because I can do three of a kind with the stone cards. Nice, we're starting to see them. I mean, I feel like I do kind of want it, but I don't really need it. Oh, I want you, but I don't need you.
No! What? That's gotta be a bug, right? <laughs> the one time I'm giving you your chance! And you do this to me. What the hell is going on? Yeah, full house is what I'm doing every time anyways. Who cares? It's not great. Yet. I mean, we're still gonna end up with a lot of them, but it's ridiculous. I'm not even really playing the stones yet, so it doesn't matter that much, but... Wait, so if there's secretly just normal cards underneath all the stone exterior... It's plus 10 mold, it's still actually takeable. It's very funny. Discards. Just odd cards. I hope I didn't just sneeze right into the mic. I kind of just sneezed to my left, but the mic, mic might have picked it up. This is unfortunate here. Stone. I just want to buy everything. I will buy this for sure. Then this might have a hermit card, which would let me buy everything, which would be foggy. is rare, so seeing two of them is neat. And I do not care about you, Rock. But you do rock. <laughs> I got Arcana has pretty good odds of giving me I have so many. I'm assuming if I turn this into a bonus, it also gets nanied, which sucks. Should I try it? Oh, I'm, I'm kind of screwing myself. <laughs> I do want to see what happens. Okay. They seem to only turn into like low ranking ones, which is kind of weird. Because we got a 3 and like a 5, and I think a 4. Maybe 6.
try and get this out of my hand. Oh, so these don't count as a pair. Alright, that's actually very good to know. I'm play four of a kind over the full house. I think it gives more. Actually, maybe not. Oh, it gives way, way less. Okay, holy heck. Oh, am I dead? Hell. Very much not dead. Oh, I didn't get the plus 20. So sad. So you could never get a 5 in a row of the stone cards. I don't really get... If that helps you. Like, would that even work? Give me a hermit. Actually very good here. So you couldn't use it into a full house. So this might just be trash. But I'm gonna hold on to it, we'll see. You get rock of a kind. Is that too dumb? Mayhaps. The question is still, does it count as three of a kind? I think I probably am gonna have to get rid of this. That's okay. Exciting, but takeable. I don't think Fibonacci helps out at all. Oh no, it does work on the eights. Wow, they're very much on fire. You know, the flames are still going on for a bit after. Never noticed that. Permit tonight, Queen? Okay, that was admittedly probably not worth it. Temperance is big, though. Might actually use that instead of selling it. We are gonna have damage. The Celestial Voucher will make sure of that. <laughs> we'll just start just not using these. All my 10s are gonna be buffed and go crazy. Sorry for the 
technology thing. So actually twos are big because they work for both of these now, so I think I got rid of a couple twos, didn't I? I read a one two. Spend on a reroll here. I have a lot of money. I'll use that, why not? <laughs> We're close enough to the end, money doesn't really matter. I'll use uh, odd because odds don't really do much. So, this is not a full house. Which is really weird. I don't get why it works like that. Okay, so in-game logic, right? These are stone carts, they don't have a rank or suit. When you upgrade them, they turn into a rank or suit. They are the same card, but they don't count as two or two of a kind. They're like their own thing. And they don't count for full houses. How do they ever help you? Like, okay, say... Say you've broken Joker, or half a Joker, or whatever. And you play three cards. You get the three of a kind, or whatever. And then you get two of these. Well, the two of those bring you over. So the only way this would help you, if you have a half Joker... Play a pear and a stone, maybe. But most of the time you're gonna want to go either full house or straights, at least if you're me. Or a flush. Maybe you get the joker that makes it so that you can play four cards and have it be a flush, and then combine that with the stone card. It seems way too fringe. Plus 50 is a lot, but I don't... I don't see it mattering that much. The reason I thought this would be exciting is I thought it would be, oh, it takes a while to ramp up, but then you can get um, five of a kind and you can start specking into that and you try to clone them and all that jazz, but it doesn't count for five of a kind. So that joker that adds stones into your deck, you really just want like one stone. You don't want more than one. I don't know. Maybe in the full game there will be more synergy, but I feel like it's just kind of bad. Right now, anyways. bugs me if this doesn't work with aces. I get why from a balance standpoint, but I always considered aces as evens. Because they count as 10. Like in point value. The thing is, does it count a full house as a three of a kind? And I never remember, so I never take that. Yeah, that's better than a judgment. I'd rather choose my joker anyways. I don't know if you can get hologram, holographic cards out of those. I think this is better. 
Even though even Steven has higher potential. Maybe I get rid of Gross, because it'll get rid at some point. Oh my gosh, to do lists you re you're reading my mind. I have to sell one of these anyways. This is guaranteed plus four, but this has higher potential. Juggler, I want to keep around. Joker, I could get rid of, actually. It's a holographic, though. Or foil or whatever. What's the difference? Holographic is plus molt, which is better. Let's get rid of even Steven. And we don't have to worry about evens anymore. We can play this five. Keep that for sure. I don't know what to get rid of here. print for real. This is really good though because I still have a discard left and I think we might get out on this. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, we're fine. I was a little worried at the end. Show up. There you are. Too bad these chips are all virtual. I can't click on this guy. He does have some neat squares flying all about him. Yeah, though, that's Bellatro. I think with that, we've exhausted the demo card pool for Jokers. There's one more. It must be super rare. Is it the marble one, or did I unlock the marble one? I did unlock the marble one, right? I don't think I saw it though. Oh yeah, that's the marble one. There we go. Next to Fibonacci. It must be some super rare one. Is it the three of a kind one? Not Saini. Saini mad crazy troll. So they're not sorted by rarity, I wonder what they're sorted by. They gotta be sorted by something. I really can't wait. I mean, it's going to be almost three times the amount of Joker cards. That's going to be so much variety. I still think Constellation is going to be the best one in the game. Crazy that this is uncommon. I feel like I never see it. What's my tier list? This is obviously very good. This is also very good. Uh, this is very good, specifically on the Abandoned, but I kind of don't like it. I'd rather have something more upfront about its damage. Because, <laughs> like, Runner... Runner, I would consider another one of the really top-tier ones. Um, because 
on the first time you play it, you're getting a very tangible bonus, that plus 20 chips. Uh, you really feel it. I also think ice cream is one of those that's really good up front. What was I saying? But, uh, oh yeah, ride the bus. I don't know. It's something that you'll take, but it's not something you'll ever pog over. You know what I mean? This I'll pog over, which might be a hot take. I think this is one of the best cards in the game. I think Golden Joker is better, but if you can utilize this, this is really, really good. If you get the um, plus one hand voucher, or if you get like the plus one discard, you know, you could just take this to the moon, really. This is also very, very good. This one, I don't know, maybe because I lost with it, I, I don't see it as well, but I think this is... It's something that's good to have, but I don't think it's a game winner. And for that reason, I, I think I wouldn't choose it over, like, an even Stevens, even. This, I think, is very good. This, I think, is not as good as I thought it was when I picked it up. Because if you find this early game, which is when you'd want to find it to scale it, um, you'd say, oh, I'll spend my money at the shop, and I'll buy an expensive Joker, and then I'll destroy it. But really, it's better to just have an expensive Joker and keep it. You know what I mean? It's only really good with egg, and even then it's like, once you use up your egg, it's gone forever, you know? I think I overvalued it when I started. Now I, I do not like it. This one I also do not like. I don't think I'll ever get the, the white sticker on this. It's I don't care that much. This, I think, is probably one of the best jokers in the game. Uh, this joker... It's something that you take early, but it's not something you pog over. Uh, this joker is okay. This joker is also okay. This one is always take. Uh, this one's okay, just because I forget to look for flushes. This joker can carry you early game, but at some point you're gonna have to sell it. Uh, this Joker is very good. I think I'd always pick this up. This Joker, same. This Joker, same. Uh, all three of these are, are very good. This one, I don't really care about too much. It's just kind of like, I'm gonna use my discards. Those last couple games, I didn't really care too much about using discards, but if you're min-maxing, uh, this is very bad. Because you're gonna wanna look for the optimal play. Especially when you consider how bad two pair is versus full house. This one, I could see you like setting it up for the boss and doing some cool stuff with it, but I think I'd rather something more consistent. This one is probably one of the best cards in the game because it gives economy and uh, tarot cards. are just very good. And even if you get a bad one, it's still just free money. So I think this is definitely one of the best ones in the game. This one, I used to think wasn't that good, because it's kind of annoying that it's so inconsistent, but it's pretty much always going to be nice. Even if it gives you plus zero, it'll give you something good on the next one. Uh, this one's probably double S tier, triple S tier. This one's insanely good. Uh, this is pretty good. I think I was sandbagging on this one because it was too much thinking, but... <laughs> Double the rank of lowest card held in hand. So if you have like a 10 that's the lowest rank, you'll get plus 20 mole. Which can be very good. You just have to be uh, careful. Fibonacci is pretty good. Uh, if you're going for a low straight, ace to five. 
it's uh, it's gonna be really really nice. I don't know if it's really that nice anywhere else, but it's one that you can forget about and then just have around and it'll help out. I don't know how I feel about this one. On the one hand, it's, it's nice for economy, but it's not something that ever makes a big enough difference to really be noticeable. And for that reason, I think I wouldn't take it on most runs. This, I think, is honestly pretty, pretty much one of the best commons. Um, it's just always nice to have. So, once you get 5 jokers, that'll be plus 8, which is twice as much as, as the basic one. So I consider this like the same thing as this, but with better scaling. Uh, this one I like more than this one, which gives you better uh, damage in battle, whereas this one gives you money, just because I like economy more. Um, but I still don't think it's that takeable. Whereas something like a Joseph Joker, this is just pretty much always an instant take. This is very good. The chance that it's destroyed, it shouldn't matter that much to you. Because most of the time, by the time it's destroyed, it'll be late game and you can afford an extra Joker. And most of the time you end up selling it when you find something better anyways. The fact that it's a plus 10 molt no matter what hand you play makes it really nice to have around. This one... yeah, these are both very good. Uh, even Steven's a little better because it gives you molt. I think in general molt is better. Uh, but the fact that this triggers on aces makes it really nice too. Scholar is also very, very good. Scholar is nice because it gives you... Yeah, it actually combines the, the value of these. So it gives you a lot of value. Uh, in exchange for only hitting a small portion of your deck, but you can... You can always get more aces. This one, I think, is good. But... Not as much as I used to. Because when I started... <laughs> I think it was just like a... A brain issue. But when I started out, I thought it was every time... You played like... That... Like if you play two pair, then it'll give you plus one. And then if you play two pair again, it'll give you plus two. But I'm still not exactly sure if that's how it works or not. It just felt kind of inconsistent. Even if it is consistent, which might be insane. <laughs> but you can let me know what you think. Uh, this one, I already said it's, it's okay, but you would never take it if you're not on an abandoned deck. Because royals are too valuable. This one is very good if you can play 5D chess. Definitely take it. Egg. This is okay. It's kind of like a golden joker. Um, but less good. But you can always buy it and then sell it next round and you'll make a little bit of profit. You know, might as well. This is pretty OP. If you can combine these, get like more than one. You can get a lot of economy out of it. Uh, because the hands turn into money at the end of rounds. And I hit my controller with my foot, so we went back a page. This one, I already said it's very good. One of the best cards in the game. This is also one of the best cards in the game. This is basically... It'll carry you first floor, it'll carry you all the way to the end. Insanely good, plus 15. So much. And it's so easy to trigger. And it triggers on every hand once you get rid of your discards. Um, this one. 
it can save you if you're low on damage, but if you're relying on it, your run's not that good anyways. So I'd rather have a different Joker. So I'd put this in a low tier. Uh, this one, I haven't really played with it much, but I'm sure it's nice for getting, like, five aces going. It's a little bit rough that on turn one you'll just be playing one card. It's kind of an opportunity cost because you get this really good bonus, but you also you can only trigger it once per battle, and you can only trigger it um, by just only playing one card. This one's very good. Uh, I'd consider this one of the best commons, I think. Which is very nice to have. This also, I think I might have underrated. Clutches are pretty hard to trigger normally, because I forget um, to do them. This makes it easier. This I already said it's easily the best card in the game. Uh, fight me on that. This one, it's okay, it's not a game winner. Uh, this one... I don't know if I'd say it's a game winner, but it's definitely one of the best cards in the game because of economy and the fact that it gives you carrot and potential for planet cards, which is like permanent upgrade. Permanent upgrade that you can trigger multiple times a fight is, is crazy. Even if the trigger is hard to pull off. And this is also one of the best cards in the game. It can be better than Golden Joker, but I'd prefer Golden Joker if I had the choice. Because Golden Joker, you don't have to think about. But if you can pull this off and get like 8 or even 12 money per battle, <laughs> that'll go crazy. It's also a very fun one to take because you'll find yourself getting annoyed at winning too quickly. Which is fun. Just imagine... We have all these already. We're gonna get five more pages of 15 each. What's five times 15? 30, 60, 90, 105. 105 more jokers. And all those much more vouchers too. And I've, I've already gushed about Balatro a lot, but the presentation, it's just so good. It's like a five-star restaurant. Like, look at this. It's like the museum in Animal Crossing, but even better. Kind of weird seeing them without any numbers. I do think the stone cards, uh, getting turned back into normie cards when you buff them is, is pretty cringe. Although I get why stone cards are just secretly still a normal card, but they have a little stone on them or whatever. Gameplay-wise, maybe. But yeah. Negative is so cool too. And all the little touches too, like the slightly different packs. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I knew I could do it. I could have sworn the last one was 50,000, not 45. I might be misremembering them. Yeah, 15 decks. This, this game is gonna pop off so hard. It's like already insanely good. I don't know, these, these demos have been coming out and they've just been blowing away, you know, games that are out and have been out. Like the quality. I'm just gushing. I love this game. I didn't 
I never really liked poker. I never took the time to learn it. This game just gets me, and I just get this game. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's so good. How did they make it so good? Alright, that's uh, Bellatro demo. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.